everyone it's Naomi and welcome back to my channel today I decided to do this 60s inspired look I was watching a tutorial the other day of how to do this high 60s ponytail and I thought I'd do a makeup style to go with it I've always liked the 60s I love the cut crease I love the intense doll eyes and the very bright lips so if you want to learn how to recreate this look just keep watching so starting with our eye makeup, I'm going to apply my primer. My favorite primer is Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and this is just going to help the makeup stay longer, it's going to help the pigment show up better and create a smoother canvas for the makeup to go on. So I'm going to apply that to my eyelids and also to my lower lash line. Now using my BH Cosmetics 42 Matte Color Palette, I'm going to be using a small fluffy brush and selecting a warm brown to apply to my crease area. The small fluffy brush is going to give you better control and it's going to help you blend the color better. So applying that to your crease area is going to help us give it depth and start creating the cut crease which is signature to the 60s look. You want to make sure to blend any harsh lines. Now I'm going to be taking a small angled brush or an eyeliner brush and I'm going to be selecting a darker grey colour. This we're also going to apply to our crease but at this point you want a bit more of precision to really outline the cut crease. So take your time with this step and when you're reaching towards the outside try and create a slight wing. This is going to create a parallel line with our eyeliner. Now taking a small pencil brush, we're going to again select that brown color and apply it over the black. You want to really smudge and blend it to give it depth. Now I'm taking a concealer brush and my concealer palette also by BH Cosmetics and I'm going to be selecting the lightest color of concealer. I'm going to be applying that all over my eyelid. I forgot to film it but remember to set that concealer on your eyelid by using a lighter eyeshadow color. Now again taking my pencil brush we're going to use the initial brown and apply it to our lower lash line. Then we're going to go over it with the black and this is going to help us intensify the look and give us those really big eyes. Now for the eyeliner we're going to start with a creamy black pencil. You're going to draw a little bit of your wing and we're also going to apply it to the inner corners of our eyes. Using a creamy pencil is always going to be easier to blend and to smudge, which is really the look we're going for here. So as you see now with my angled brush, I'm just going to start creating that wing and slowly smudging out the black eye pencil. Now using my black liquid eyeliner, I'm just going to go over that trace I've created with the black creamy liner and sharpen my wing. 
Now working with liquid liner can be hard, especially if you're a beginner, so I would always recommend doing small strokes as opposed to trying to do the wing in one long swift stroke. So take your time with it and just practice. Now with our angle brush, we're just going to smudge it so it blends with our creamy eye pencil. This is going to end up having a very matte look. Now again, using our creamy black pencil, we're just going to draw small dots on our lower lash line. This is going to make our lower lash line look fuller and give us that really baby doll eye look. Now taking a light cream pencil, I would recommend using white, I just didn't have any at this time so mine is a bit of a silver colour. Apply that to your lower waterline. This is going to really make your eyes pop. It's time for fake lashes. Now using my mascara, I'm just going to make sure I coat every single lash of my lower lash line. Now taking a lip pencil, which is slightly darker than my original lip color, I'm just going to outline my lips. This is going to make our lips look bigger. Now just add a natural color lip gloss. You want your lips to look juicy and big, but you don't want to take the focus of the eye makeup. And we're done. So here is my take on the 60s makeup look. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe Give us a thumbs up and drop us a comment down below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!